back to the channel. It's been a hot minute, but we're back, baby. We got a video on the white S4 today. We are taking it over to Axles Automotive for some new tires that we got that we may have put on for some new wheels, possibly some brakes, and another additional mod. We're doing the transmission mount from 034 Motorsport today as well to see how that changes and affects the car. It's been a little while since we've shown you guys the garage. Uh, a lot's been done uh, in this little time. So we'll give you a quick preview of the man cave garage setup so far, what we got done, and then we'll take a trip over to axles to show you guys the new wheels, uh, new tires we're getting, and brakes as well. So big day. Thank you guys for clicking on this video, and uh, stay tuned for the rest of it for the wheels and all that good stuff. So without further ado, here is the rest of the garage. We have our, our TV area set up over here, right next to our fireplace. We did pick up a hot tub, boys. This hot tub is electric. Control it right here. It's been phenomenal. Uh, picked this up from Costco. Uh, one of my favorite purchases from Costco, and I tell you guys, we use it so much. It's great. After a good workout, we just dip in the hot tub. The Cayman's still sitting here. I'm hoping we get a, a lot of new uh, mods and videos up this summer for the Cayman as well. I know there's a couple things I want to get done for it. Um, see here little trophy wall little knickknacks uh it's a gt3 cup steering wheel old gti wheel um let's see what else i can show you guys new editing stations this is kind of where i'm doing all of the editing for the vlogs uh doing all the computer work over here it's kind of nice because i can just have the garage door open and still hang out and be in you know outside but inside it's a nice experience workshop area still a work in progress i don't know exactly what we're gonna do with this yet but i want to put uh, a bunch of tool cabinets eventually up here uh, a bunch of more mods coming on the way yes that is a downpipe we will be doing a video on that shortly as well quick fridge check let's see what we got uh, some costco seltzers some brewskis she looking a little light Lua. It's been a while since we have the pup two on the channel. Lua is now nine months old. Come, come here. Lua, come. Yeah. Right, guys we're at axles right now the car is getting put on the lift by nick adrian is here today what's up man what's up guys so we got a new set of tires we picked up the continental uh sport extreme contact 255 i believe we went with the size 255 by 19 obviously for the new wheels 255 35 by 19. 255 35 by 19. so we did get our new wheels they did come with winter wheels or winter tires, I'm afraid. Uh, so they were good for a while. They were Michelin Alpine, I believe. Uh, but I can't wait to get the car running on the new Continentals right here. All right, so Nick got the first wheel off. I will show you guys all the wheels off. We do have the ECS tuning. Uh, rear brakes, cal or rotors, uh, drill and slot as well. Um, up front, we have the six piston Brembo big brake kit as well as paired to the ECS rotors um, as well. And we are running them on the new speed uh, 19 inch wheels. I think it's the RSE 702s. I'm not exactly sure. I'll double check on that and repost it. Uh, but super happy with the new new speed wheels and the brakes. We lost a lot of weight and it's super noticeable when driving the car just around town. And Give it a gas. Huh. Interesting. It's all, you know, every wheel company puts this little chamfer a little differently. Mm -hmm. And with it squared off on this one, they're not fitting. So the new speeds and the ECS ones aren't 
maybe not meshing compatible. perfectly. Yeah, interesting. So we are having some issues with the wheel setup right now. I'm getting some slight vibration, uh, steering wheel vibration up for high speed. So Nick thinks it might be the spacers. They're just not sitting flush right now. So either we probably take the spacers off or try what Adrian recommended was getting the APR spacers. So hopefully that solves it, but it's always a work in progress, I guess. Yeah, I'll probably yeah once in a while, like you said, you just get that little bit of play and that little bit of play, the faster you go, the more it turns into a bigger vibration. Okay, well that would make sense because yeah. that's exactly what it is. It's like consistent with speed. Yeah. So like the faster it goes, the bigger the vibration, so. Over time, it's dangerous with the lug nuts too. That, oh, they can snap or something? No, you can break them loose. You can break them loose so that vibration all the time. Okay. You can get the, the lug to kind of back off. Gotcha. So when I release this one, this wheel's gonna pop. <laughs> yeah, you totally saw it. So we're flexing the wheel to get it bolted yeah. tight. Oh, wow. I don't I even think, I mean, I probably need to run space <laughs> with the brakes, you think? Yeah. Say for clearance? We could put one on there and see. There's a lot of clearance there right now. Okay. I don't know if you need those spacers. <laughs> we could put a wheel on there and spin it and see. Yeah, we'll just pull but the spacer off. you have a ton off. of space in there right now. Okay. All right, cool. It's just... It's just... Yeah, that's a lot of play. I wouldn't recommend putting them back on. Put it on there, yeah. Yeah, there's still a ton of clearance. Mm -hmm. That wheel ain't this close. Seems like we're fine. Wow. It's tight, but tight, it works. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Nick right now is getting the winter tires off of the new speeds. Uh, for the future, I think we're just gonna buy a cheap uh, alloy for the winter to run the winter tires on and keep the new speeds strictly for the all season summer. Just be easier instead of swapping tires on and off. Weight reduction. Yeah. So here's the new tires next to the snow tires. And while the Continentals are fatter tires than 255 compared to the 245 snows. The Continentals feel a lot lighter, so maybe they'll translate to driving. You know? Oh yeah, huge. Yeah, <laughs> and this is a wider tire, yeah, and this yeah. one twice as heavy, but mm -hmm. there's more sidewall to this one, yeah. so it's probably a lot more rubber. Just slides in right there. Yeah, I'll go grab it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know if that's the part you had. Yeah. I haven't seen the part yet. <laughs> Jesus. All right, guys, we're gonna go get the 034 uh, trans mount insert. And then while the car's up on the lift, we might as well just pop that bad boy on there. It's not a ter terrible of an install, uh, but it does make a big difference, uh, especially from all the other cars that I had it. Trans insert. Nice looking piece of aluminum. There we go. Cool. And that should honestly just pop right in there. One. And it will basically pop right in. We're gonna put a little lube on it though so it doesn't squeak. Awesome. Cool. So essentially this piece keeps the, the mount of the transmission from shifting back and forth on the chassis? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Yeah, that's yes. how it works? Okay, yes, yeah, it does. Sorry. Yeah. Not wasn't sure you were uh, talking to me or not. Um, yeah, this will go in and stiffen the transmission so as you take off, the torque isn't 
pushing it each direction and keeping it more solid to send the power to the to the wheels. The wheels, awesome. And we just lubed them so as it's rubbing on the rubber, you don't get squeaks onto from the insert. Excellent. Boom. Beautiful. <clears throat> nice and easy two minute mod, huh? Cheers. Cheers. 25. 25, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys were wondering what the torque specs were for the trans insert, it's 25 Newton meters. So uh, all the wheels are done. We're just waiting for uh, new OEM bolts. Adrian ordered new bolts because I do not have the OEM ones when I picked up the new wheels. I got these from Brock. He did a feature on our channel a long time ago, uh, but that's where I got the wheels from, and he swapped his back to stock to go trade in for his new car. Um, so anyways, I do not have my OEM bolts, and we do not want to run the spacers because we believe the spacers are causing the vibration I'm having, and it could be dangerous. Uh, so we're gonna run it without the spacers, uh, just wait on the bolts. In the meantime, we're gonna hook up the car with some sweet 034 Motorsport goodies. Uh, we will be putting a license plate frame, it may be a sticker or two, uh, but in preparation for the future uh, stage one and stage two tune that we are doing with this car. We do have a B, it's an 8.5, right? Yeah. Eight and a half, eight and a half S4 in the shop today as well. This is also one of the S4s that will be with us at the IRL racetrack come in May, right? Yeah. So stay tuned guys, we are taking the S4 out on the 034 tune. We'll be running the quarter mile time coming in May, so next month. Uh, as well as a bunch of other cars that are getting tuned and modded at axles here. Uh, one of them being is this B8.5 B8, uh, S4, and it has a ton of work done to it. It has the upgraded pulley. Pulley kit from 034, Joker's ported blower, uh, full stage two E40 kit for 034. Um, we're right now putting the 034 heat exchanger on, ported blower, uh, it has a super duper, so we're pretty much top everything 034 has for the car. So uh, maxed out 034. You know, hoping to squeeze into those tens. We'll see what happens depending on weather. So yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a fun day, guys. We're definitely gonna be vlogging, vlogging that as well. So I'm excited to see what this car runs. Hopefully they do crack the tens, what they want. It should. Um, but yeah, this is the brand new 034 uh, intercooler. Uh, switched out from the APR. APR right over yeah. there. APR one as well. Nick was saying this one's uh, taller, uh, just not as wide. So it might be bigger surface area in total, which is not as fast. Yeah, we think it might be a little thicker, um, but supposedly logs are showing that the 034 one, the way it flows is more efficient in keeping the temperatures down, so. Got it, awesome, cool. And then, I don't know a whole lot about the V8s. So this is 034 super duper setup, which is the bigger throttle body. And okay. And have a in intake here um jokers we gave them the blower and the intake our um the elbow. the elbow so they ported them together okay um, and i think this is going to be one of the first beat and a halfs that will have the new jokers port design uh the super duper just all the newer items that we have from zero three four oh, cool. so and then we're running the ie fuel pump on it oh nice awesome What's like the estimated power you would say from all this together? Off Over 500 head, wheels? I, yeah. It, Close to it maybe? I forget the exact power. I've been looking at the B9 too much lately. Yeah, and I yeah. forget what all the okay. eight and a half stuff is now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't blame you. Yes, it is. <laughs> Nick with the sick pickup for the B9S4. Where'd you get it from? Talk? Uh, this is Carbon Labs. Carbon Labs. Carbon Labs uh, carbon fiber wheel. Uh, wow. Unfortunately, we have a heated steering wheel, so okay. this might be a summer wheel while we put on the heated one for yeah. comfort in the winter. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I run the, I run the heated. But otherwise, this is this is some sick work wow. here. That's beautiful. That carbon is With the paddle fantastic. Too. Yeah, RS paddles. Honestly, I haven't seen a good carbon setup like this off of anybody this clean. Yeah, that looks awesome. So. Wow, awesome. Guys can order steering wheels from you guys to yeah, come again, in the shop. We're doing that. Yeah, we're a, a distributor for them now. So anything Carbon Labs, we can definitely take care of. Wow, awesome.
So. I think a uh, carbon fiber steering wheel is definitely in the future here, boys, because that thing is looking beautiful. All right, Mike. So these, there's 20 of these. That, if this works, it's good. That's, that's good. And then there's some of these that don't have a sleeve. And then some of these have a sleeve. So whatever you guys want to put together here. I think I'll take all black. You want black wheels, right? Yeah, yeah but those, that's only 20. There's 10 and 10. I got everything they had in stock. They have five on each wheel. I know, they didn't have 25. Wait, wait. Wait, wait what? Is this on video? Is this on video? No. <laughs> I didn't have my calculator oh, on man, That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. That was so good. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. There's a small amount of clearance. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. good. Nothing scratching. Wow. That's close. Big shout out to Brock. Thank you so much for hooking me up with this. I'm excited for Brock's new uh, purchase decision and his new BMW. So be sure to go give him a follow and check up on his new build. But guys, oh my God, I'm so happy with the setup right now. The wheels, uh, they really bring out the paint. I like the hyper black a lot. The rotors and the big Brembos. Oh my God, is it aggressive. So we are not running the 10 millimeter spacers because we're having that wobble issue. And we think it's a culprit of causing that steering wheel uh, shake when I'm driving. So the wheels are pushed in uh, 10 millimeters inwards than they were before. It makes the car look lower, which I think looks cool, but we lose that aggressive stance uh, from having the spacer. Uh, Adrian's gonna hop in the car with me. We're gonna take it for a quick ride, see how the trans mount feels, and see how the new tires uh, feel in the car. So we'll take it for a quick spin. All right, guys, we're gonna have Adrian drive first, see how the car feels, and then I'm gonna hop in and take it for a quick spin as well. But I'm really curious on the trans mount. Uh, I've loved running those on the on the GTIs and Golf R's. It made a huge difference. So I'm excited to see how that plays in the Audi. You said over 80 you were having it. You can feel it slightly when you're going like 40 or 50. Okay. And then you'll it like increases the amount of vibration with the faster the faster you go. Yeah. But from what Nick was showing us, I'm pretty sure it was the spacers. Yeah. Shit. Hell yeah. All right, so it's settled. It's gotta be the ECS tuning spacers that were just not seated correctly. So either we find a different set of spacers or we just don't run the car with spacers at all. And honestly, I don't really mind the look of not having spacers on right now. So um, yeah, I guess we'll figure it out later. All right guys, so initial impression after the first drive. Um, even Adrian said the shifts feel way crisper with the transmission mount. Uh, just giving a little bit of gas, it just felt uh, so much more sure of itself. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, they just were snappier, stronger, way more aggressive. If you guys have a B9S4 and you're looking to just clean up the, the shifting without even a tune, the trans mount uh, by 034 was just nailing it. So super happy. Uh, while we're out here, we do have Nick's B9S4. Uh, he will be taking his this S4 to the IRL uh, drag strip day coming in May as well. Uh, they are going to eventually go hybrid big turbo with the setup as well. But he did wrap it in a matte black PPF film, right? Stealth. Sorry, it's a stealth film PPF, but it looks really cool right now. Hopefully the camera can pick up the black, but it's it's matte, but it's got a nice sheen to it. And it's all paint protected. So it's going to keep the paint underneath looking really good. 
He didn't want to wrap the side markers? Gotcha. There's still a lot of parts coming in, like he's got the carbon fiber uh, mirror covers and grill and spoiler. Um, we did leave some um, black gloss black accents like on the door handles and stuff to break it up, but they're still, this thing will be completely transformed by the, tra by the track event, so. Oh yeah, awesome. We will be continuing to feature this car, car on plenty of our vlog days to axles as well as uh, Nick's progress with the S4. And then of course on the track day. So yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with it when it's all over. So an initial impressions on the new wheels, brakes, and tire setup with the transmission mount. Uh, the car is totally transformed. Thank you to Axles Automotive. Uh, if you guys ever need any work done to your Audi S4, any sort of German car, hit these guys up. They are uh, affiliated with 034 Motorsports as well as Carbon Labs. So if you need any parts from either of those companies, you can always go to them. And I will leave the link for the shop in the description below so be sure to check those guys out that's gonna do it for us today guys thank you so much for watching i'm so pumped to have more uh b9s4 content rolling out for you guys we got a lot more videos planned for the future the weather's getting nicer car season's on its way we got a track day plan i'm so excited so thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next one